exclusive from WBZ's new chief investigative reporter, Cheryl Fiendaka. She is the only reporter to sit down with the Princeton dentist found not guilty in the death of his wife of more than 40 years. It's the first time Roger Desolets has spoken publicly about the tragedy that his own family still insists was murder. Did you kill your wife? Of course not. I never harmed my wife, ever. Less than 24 hours after a jury found Princeton dentist Roger Desolitz Jr. not guilty of killing his wife Kathleen, he sat down for an exclusive interview with WBZ. 44 good years is a long time. I miss her. She was with me in court. She was on my side because she knew what happened. The 72-year-old Desolates choked back tears and called his wife's death a tragedy. But prosecutors called it manslaughter, claiming on December 6, 2011, Desolates and his 65-year-old wife violently struggled in the hallway of their Princeton home before he threw or pushed her out a third-floor window. The physical evidence did not support in any way the theory of the government that Roger Desolates had a hand on his wife's death. Desolates' team of lawyers say they had proof he didn't do it, telling jurors the night Kathleen died, she was intoxicated and had taken prescription drugs. At the time of her death, she had a blood alcohol uh, uh, of somewhere around 1.2 to 1.4. She also had Valium. The science was compelling. We never said that Kathleen Desolates committed suicide. What we said is she certainly sat in that window and from that point either fell or jumped to her death. Desolate says he never got the chance to grieve for his wife and the criminal charges damaged his relationship with his daughters. Your daughters didn't accept the verdict and they said that they believe that you killed their mother. I'm their father. And I miss my grandchildren. Desolates claims reconnecting with his family is his number one priority going forward, but that could be challenging. Just yesterday, Kathleen Desolates' family released a statement saying they were disappointed with the verdict and continue to believe Roger Desolates killed his wife. I'm Cheryl Fiandaka, WBC News.